and we're back in the game with some more Napoleon Toad War, playing as Napoleon, but in Egypt. Right. In the last episode, we lost this settlement up here, and in this episode, we're going to try and take it back. We have a pretty decent army here, and we have a pretty decent army up here. We do have some enemies in between us. Uh, what do we have there? Artillery. Right, we're going to be pulling this army down, crushing them, and moving on here. So we're going to have three full stacks. That should be more than enough to secure the bottom left-hand corner of the map. Uh, that would be southwest um, Egypt. Right, we should be strong enough there if these Marmadukes come after us. And Napoleon is still slowly, very, very slowly, building his army. We're actually going to lose a little money, but we probably shouldn't uh, go and recruit anybody else. We're at early November 1799, preconditions late December 1800, so we've got just over a year to go. But we still, well, we have 10 victory conditions. We need three more listed ones uh, North Sinai, Galilee, and Rift Dimshak, wherever they are. I could probably guess that this is North Sinai, because that's in the northern part of the Sinai. I could probably guess where Galilee is. It's up there where it says Galilee. Now uh, this, uh, Riftim Shark. Where is that? Ah, that's Damascus. Let's uh, learn something new. Damascus's home region was called Rimde. Rif. Let me get it correct. Riftim Shark. Or Rift Dimashk. I wonder if it's still called that. Right, let us end the turn. See if we have to fight a battle anywhere. Well, there's some Bedouins coming on up. Ooh, we're only at 154, but we're going to make a slight profit now. Because we built two buildings, apparently. That's apparently why. Okay. So, those Bedouins are down here. Right. I feel like we should go out here and it's completely empty so we're going to occupy it peacefully that was rather disappointing where did their forces go where did they go oh there's uh, some enemy troops outside of Suez right you're all fully replenished we should be able to auto resolve that. Although we took more casualties than the enemy did. It's not so good. Right, we've got some units. And take out from here. Push them down towards Suez. They took a little attrition, or they would have taken attrition. They'd have stayed out there. You seem to be happy enough. Uh, Damietta, you're happy enough. Mansura, uh, you're not that happy. Right, we have an agent up here, don't we? Alright, sabotage army. Nope, we didn't have any luck there big size army that they're building up. Okay. What do we have in here? What army do we have? Militia? And artillery? Hmm. You have not replenished that much, have you? That's a very slow replenishment. 
Yes, indeed. Very slow. All right, she's got four units in there. All right, so I'm going to bring out these two. Yep, that'll be enough. I'm going to move after this force of Marmadukes, who we not quite reach. Uh, because we have left Fayoum empty. Do not move out any other units. Yes, we can. Which one is holding us back? This artillery? Yeah. Can we move if we try to leave it behind? Uh, one of those weird little bugs. Alright, come there. Now you can attack them. And kill them off. And some of you can go on down here. Right. Oh, we're going to move down as quickly as we can. You can almost make it. What about that horse artillery? All right, they should probably come in as reinforcements if needed. Gonna make some money now. Well, oh, apparently we're going to lose some money. But how did that happen? Oh, you're not worth much at all, are you? Very disappointing. Right. How happy are you? You're not that happy? You're also not making us basically any money at all, are you? I mean, if we tax you, we're not going to lose. That's really terrible. We're going to want to move out most of these troops. Finally get over here and take out these Bedouins. Alright, more Bedouins have shown up. Ooh, a whole stack. Not good that force that we just fought over there. Alright, I'm going to put you in there. I'm going to send you back up there. In that case, we need somebody to go after them. You cannot reach them. Alright, got room for only four units. And that's six. Alright, are we going to take any attrition? We are. Good. Any sabotage? Not that great. But he was successful. We constructed three levels of roads. But that really hasn't helped us that much at all, has it? Hmm, disappointing. Okay, so we need to kill them off. We may face a full battle right here. Got a lot of artillery and cavalry. Right, that's not a full army, so they're probably not going to be able to challenge us here. Send some of those units over. Alright, so confident that we can beat them. We're just going to have to start merging up these armies uh, to go after the Bedouin capital. And they brought even more forces over. Right, fire in advance. We have research. Still taking attrition. 
Right, any better research? You're doing that. Diamond formation, not really that good. Alright, so minimal amount of income. Their army is still up there at Arish. Right. They can only get across the river at Cairo or up here. Ah, we're going to be facing Bedouins from both flanks. We're going to have to go out and challenge them. We've got to. We may have to abandon this settlement. I mean, it's not making us any money. Is it? What do they have up there? Right. Exempting it, which is 6 and 10. How many units could we pull out? Or would we want to leave behind? Could we get away with that? I think we need to put one more unit back there. Hmm. We'll put you back there. It's not helping that much, but let's try to kill off. Oh, seriously? How were they able to get out of that settlement and come back all the way over this bridge? That doesn't make any sense. They completely bypassed us. That means we could be facing even more troops. Yeah. Alright, well, we're going to have to get rid of this one. Alright. Do we fight it or order resolve? Because order resolve is pretty much in our favour. Okay, we should not have order resolved it. What happened there? They only took 850 casualties. Why? They're absolutely terrible forces. Oh my gosh. Well, we're going to be making a lot more money, obviously. Now we could be in some trouble. Because we can't get to any of these. Alright, we're going to have to recruit some units. Well, we don't have enough money now. Alright, if they try to bypass, they'll have to come to Cairo. How badly are they beaten? That's the thing. Hmm. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to leave them there. Right, something bad is about to happen to us. The AI is smart enough take advantage. That was a terrible order resolve. Yeah, go ahead and recapture Minya. Okay. I mean, I would order resolve that, but I don't think we're going to cause any uh, casualties. Oh, they were really intent on chasing us down. Yeah, that's a disaster. All right. Okay. Can you get up there? Well, we would uh, recover if we sent you in here. Okay. We've got some money. Not particularly good. See replenishment like there. Moderate. Okay, that's helping out. Now we're going to have to recruit some units. 
Maybe some at Cairo, although we're out of money again. Unless we go with militia. Yeah. It ain't much. So they came down to Minya. However, they didn't attack. And we've got four units in there. Do we go after their settlement? Are we going to take attrition out here? We're going to take attrition. Hopefully it won't be too much. It's going to take us another two turns. What if we leave the artillery behind? Okay, you can make it in one more turn. Are they going to attack us? Let's find out. Ah, they came back. Alright, well, we're going to fight this one. We might get two battles in this episode. I was still disappointing about that auto resolve. Empire, Total War, and Napoleon are not good for auto resolves. Medieval 2 is fine unless you auto resolve against elephants. Same with uh, Rome 1. Start the battle. Enemy does have artillery, but uh, maybe these little outcroppings will protect us. Nine pound of foot, and they're definitely going to have the range. Oh, they are firing. Like they missed. Okay. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah, he only lost a couple of men though. Yeah, he's only lost three so far. They're gonna be within range. Any second, we should be able to decimate their camel warriors. Go ahead and fire. There, somebody's in range. That's it. Shoot them to pieces. They may still reach our lines. We haven't killed that many, considering how many units are firing at them. There's a general. Go on, make a suicidal charge at us. Go on, do it. Go on, kill them off, kill them off. Quicker. You can do it! Kill him! Yeah, the general's just sitting out of range. Oh, seriously? we got like 70 men. That's ridiculous. Alright, well. Come on over there. Boy like that. Boy like this. There was only nine of them left and they're gonna chase down that whole unit to kill them. Quickly. Uh, the general went back there. Alright, they charge into this unit now. Go 
Our morale is not that good. Come on, you can take them out. They're down to six men. There you go. Now, go up there. Start firing on that unit. There's 56 men managed to get away. Alright, well, we've killed them. Alright, we're going to have to go after their artillery. Why don't you follow them in case they come back? Go ahead and get rid of them. Can you kill off this unit? The morale is better, it looks like, than ours is. We go in for a close up. Yep. We're not doing that great against them, and we've lost a unit. All right, I don't think those are going to come back. Well, oh, we've lost another unit. All right. You come over here and shoot at them. And now this unit's going to be very retired. Yep, they managed to get off some to shot. That was our general. Yep. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose this battle. Blast it. Seriously, they only had like 200 men. Their cavalry the unit did a very good job. I guess having their general kept their morale up. And kill off a few more. Oh, this unit has rallied. Gonna get into position. Our men are running, sir. Come on, get off a of volley. Not killing anybody. Seriously, you're not killing anyone. There's 93 men in that unit. All right, finally they managed to kill like one person. And the battle was over. And for good measure, they threw in some canister shot. Battles decide everything. Well, hopefully that battle doesn't. Look at that, we had 700 men. Right, we don't know, but they're more than, well, two and a half to one. Huh. City besieged, Minya. Okay, more attrition. It's the ah, even more troops up there. One unit. Ah, the, these order resolves are definitely not going in our favour. Are they? Alright. 
Defeat. They're down to 65 men. And defeated us. My gosh. Alright, well, then I have income of like 2300. There goes our money. I'm going to have to put somebody in there. Let's see if we can find out what's going on over here. I don't even know where the actual Bedouin capital is. Oh. They do have 2,000 men there. Armed populace. We're going to fight them. We will go and fight them. I'm going to take attrition again. Right, you can hold out for three turns. You're probably going to have to hold out for three turns. Uh, who's commanding there? Bessier. And there is the Hillier. Alright, well, this was a very negative episode for me. Should not order resolve. Alright, Napoleon. Got more Bedouins coming for you. Seems we're better fighting the Bedouins in defense. At least sometimes. Well, we now have until the end of this year to actually win. So, we need to take out these settlements down here. How they're able to recruit so many units, I do not know, because that's the only recruitment center out there, and their other one is all the way down here. Right. Actually, no, I don't think we can, can we? I was going to say destroy the buildings in here. Well, it says we can. We'll see who actually does that. Uh, next time. But, for the moment, that's all that we're going to be seeing of Napoleon in Egypt. Napoleon is not seeing too much of Egypt because he's stuck in Suez. So, until the next time you watch this uh, channel, take care.